If you are using Notion, then your experience is about to get 10 times better. Hey guys, my name is Deepak and today I'm going to show you top 10 new features of Notion. And before we dive in, you know the drill, make sure you subscribe to my channel to get latest updates on productivity and collaboration apps. So let's get started. Feature number one in our list, trust me, solves a major inconvenience where you couldn't copy partial text across multiple blocks. Good news is Notion now allows you to copy partial text across multiple blocks. So if you are on a desktop, click and drag to select, then right click and copy, and you can now paste this partial text across paragraphs without having to select each block in its entirety. If, same way, if you're on mobile, double tap to select text and drag your selection to include content across multiple blocks then click copy now i can easily paste this text inside linkedin posts trust me it has made my life a lot easier feature number two notion now gives you the ability to add headings to your toggles toggle is one of my favorite features of notion and there are a few ways you can add header toggles to your pages. Easiest way is to start type greater than sign in an empty heading block, which will turn into a toggle, and then just click six dot handles to the left of any block and use turn into toggle heading or use a slash command such as forward slash turning into toggle h1. You can also select the text and then choose from heading dropdown the toggle heading options. Other way of doing it is open the block menu by typing forward slash, then select toggle heading one, two, three in the drop down menu that appear. Or click plus sign button that appears to the left of your paragraph, then select toggle heading one, two, three in the drop down menu. Feature number three is simple tables. So after a long wait, simple tables are finally here. So if databases were difficult to understand, you can now create and customize simple tables. To add a simple table to your page, just type forward slash table, quickly add more rows and columns by dragging the bottom right corner, and toggle your header row and header column by opening the options drop down menu. Feature number four is again a game changer. So if you have any tables in your docs that you don't need to be as databases, you can now turn them into simple tables. Here is one database which I want to convert to simple table as it doesn't need any advanced database functions. Just click on three dots menu on the top right, then select turn into simple table. Your database is now a simple table. Important thing to note is you won't see this option appear if your database has multiple views or content within database pages or hundreds of rows or advanced properties like checkboxes, file attachments, or if you're in full page view. On the flip side, when your simple tables grow to hold more and more content, you may find useful uh, to needing to filter, sort, or create custom views. All things you can do with a database. To switch, you can click on the menu and then select turn into a database or you can also do it by option and click on three dots, then turn a simple table into database. Feature number five, you can now add background colors to simple tables, rows and columns. So if you click on a row or column handles, it would give you color option where you can choose color of your choice for that row or for that column, making it easier for you to organize your content inside the simple table. Feature number six is now you can visualize your tasks and projects with even greater precision. Group items by any property in your database views to achieve this peak organization. So click on the new group new button to visually organize your content by whatever property makes sense for your workflow. Once you click on top, you will see the type of view. In this case, I'm using table view, then you can group by different properties. Example, I can group by date created and it would group these items by date in which I created my YouTube videos. 
If I go back and change the group by text column, YouTube field, then I would see the YouTube videos as per the alphabetical order. Also, I can use any property in the table to group the database items, which brings great flexibility for viewing your data. Feature number seven is now you can create flowcharts, pie charts, user journey diagrams, and more with Mermaid right inside a code block in Notion. So no need to take screenshots or embed charts from other tools. Mermaid syntax is quite easy to learn, even if you don't usually write a code. To start with this code block inside a page, then just select Mermaid in the language dropdown at the top left of any code block to get started. For writing a code, you can go to Mermaid and learn how to use it. Or if you want to, or if you want a quick pie chart, just copy paste the existing sample code, then just reuse it. For example, in this user journey map, first section says begin. So I can just update the code to say my video journey and you would see it get updated in the real time. Similarly, you can change other items as well. Once you have written your code, use the second drop down at the top left to see a live preview of your chart or select split view to see your code and chart together. Such a powerful feature if you're using Notion day in and day out. Feature number eight, navigate between database items in peak view. So if I go to my YouTube progress database and click on a table video item, now I get up and down arrow icon. If I click on up arrow, I can move between databases items without having to close the window, making it easier to navigate between database items. Feature number nine is now you can customize which page opens first when you launch Notion. You can set your preferences in settings and members, my notification settings, inside open start Inside Open on Start, you can select the last visited page or just select top page on the Notion. The next time the Notion will launch, it will have your preferences saved. Feature number 10 is better rollups. So rollups is one of the most powerful features of Notion and now interactive with no rollups is even easier. Rollups of URL, email and phone number properties are now all clickable. All right, so thank you for watching my video. Please do share your feedback in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.